Well, okay, I was just speaking to myself there for about two minutes before realising that I was uh, not even live, so I guess that's a excellent start to this amazing career. But, uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully it goes well. Um, so, first thing we're going to do today is have a nice look through the career mood. Um, I'm going to try and play a couple of games as well. Um, we've got Bielefeld and Freiburg. So, also, yeah, of course, as always, just forgive me if I uh, pronounce anything super wrong. But, um, yeah, it should be should be interesting. Uh, and then after that, if anyone's seen the Discord messages, we'll probably play a couple of games against people online. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes, because obviously depends on what people want to see. So, um, yeah, if anyone's got any questions you want to ask about my career mode before I start playing matches, um, if you want to see any stats, um, now's the time to ask it, because I can just show you it straight away. God, this is this is so confusing. I can just hear myself in my own ears. Hello, everyone. It's already here, by the way. So I think Nicholas, Mr. Block, um, Emmett Shea, Noah. Well done on just starting a. I can't tell if you started one with Shelk or Stoke, but um, yeah, I actually support Forest. So if you support Stoke, you're probably more similar to me. But Schalke, yeah. Not quite the same. Hello, Deck as well. It's going better than I was expecting already. 11 people, 13 people. I was thinking it was going to be about three, so... Yeah. Hello, everybody, to the video. I'm probably going to um, try and cut this up as well. And uh, make it into a regular video, too. Just to try and get double the content, because I'm lazy like that. And I haven't got anything else ready to upgrade. Ah, uh, Stoke, yeah, nice. Millwall beat Derby. That's, um, I'm happy for that. You've got uh, Mason Bennett, haven't you? So, pretty uh, pretty good stuff I saw yesterday. But yeah, and this is the team. If anyone's got any question about any of the players you want me to answer, or if you've got any recommended players. I mean, I want to try and sign uh, Mustafi, of course. They did him in real life, and I think... We might get an offer for Quebec. Might have to sell him. Try and keep it a bit realistic if we get a good offer for him. Um, so I think Mustafi, although he's a bit bit shit, but you know, he might be he might be better than Mustafic. I'm not sure. I think he's got a bit more strength about him, a bit better in the air. Um, I think I've mentioned all this in recent videos, so I might just be repeating myself here. But yeah, we need a left back, maybe a centre back. I feel like I want to play Draxler here. Um, left mid, yeah, I mean, I'm a bit fed up of using Raman. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, it might be Raman, uh, but yeah, correct me if anyone does know that. I, f I always feel like I'm abusing FIFA a little bit when um, when I use Matondo, he's just pure pace and I think that's a bit broken on FIFA, but yeah, <laughs> what we do for realism, right? Fucking Mustafi. Yeah. Again, like if anyone has any recommendations for how we can improve this, if I ever do another one of these streams, uh, let me know. And I can see I've got my remote play, which I'm having to stream this in a really weird way, by the way. So uh, forgive that. I'll try and get that to disappear quickly. Uh, if I just full screen it and do that, I think that should do it, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on there, but yeah, okay. Might have to put up with that for today <laughs> until I can figure out how to get rid of it. Oh my god, this is a uh, this is almost hilariously bad. This is, but um, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, it only gets better from here. So it's Raman with a German R. Oh, so it's like Raman, possibly something like that. Anyway. I do think I've shown my training, what I've been doing with my training. So I've got Mr. Gash and Stambouli in there. Mainly just my um, players that I don't play with. So Stambouli, Gash, Tatagua. I don't even want to try and say Bouliab because I'll um, 
I'll probably offend someone. Shup, McCann, Ibsevic. Some players in here that I don't think I'll ever use. I, I know Becker plays in real life centre back, I think, for them. But um yeah, I don't think he's gonna be playing for us anytime soon. Um uh, Wow. It's quite a lot of people in here now. But yeah, we're just gonna just gonna play a match now, I think. Just get into it straight away. Uh New Zealand might want me as international manager. I got an offer from Russia, which I thought might be cool. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. I turned down Venezuela because I don't know any of the players, really. But, um, always been quite interested to use Russia. Right, so, going to the team. What are we going to do today? I don't think we're going to do Stampu the attacking mid, I'm afraid. Quite a lot of time. Um... Ospika. Uh Yeah, I have to play Mendil. This, is, this isn't looking good. Stambouli is centre-back, I'm thinking. Jeez. Some tough choices are coming up here, I think. Um, Serda for Merck. Like, this is just too weak, I think. Gash and Merkan. It's It's not good. What players does Russia have? Um, well, they have uh, Zagwev. I'm not sure if he's actually in FIFA because I think he might play for one of the teams that's not in it. Um, they have what's it, Artyom Zuba, I think you say it. Again, he's another player that plays for Zenit. I'm not sure if they're on FIFA. I feel like they might be one of the licensed Russian teams, but yeah, not 100% sure. Um, the guy who plays for Monaco as well. He's pretty, yeah, Golovin, that's the one. Um, he's pretty good. So, I mean, I think they wanted me to get to the, oh, this is this is going to have to be such a weak team here. Who are we playing? Bielefeld. They're pretty bad themselves, though. But, mm, let's make sure we got the right kits going on as well. Yeah, that looks fine. Looks fine. we got the right difficulty on. Yeah, ultimate. Cool. Using the Premier League ball, as always. Yeah, I think Russia would be pretty interesting, though. They've always had um, good performances in sort of international tournaments, haven't they? So, you've got that year Arshavin just tore up. I think it was Euro 2008. The lad that played for Real Madrid. Oh, him. The one that they didn't register. Um, the rapid winger. I can't remember what he's called. Yeah, he was Russian. Uh, oh, I just can't remember what he's called. But um, yeah, he's he's pretty good on FIFA. I remember him being pretty overpowered. It's been a long time since I played FIFA, I'll be honest. So forgive me if I'm uh, worse than I was in my last videos. Cool, getting the ball early. Nah, tried to get around him. Okay, got a bit lucky there, not going to lie. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's um that's pretty bad. Pretty bad of a start. Oops. Yeah, it's um it's been a bit laggy for me as well. Um one sec, I'll just see if I can fix this quickly. Um Let's try this, see if this fixes it. But yeah, bad start. <laughs> I think not gone so well for us, but I am absolutely awful at this uh, talking while playing FIFA thing. This is why I record the voice, their voices voiceover after my actual video. But um, try and play it with Uth, oh, Maya. Pretty good player. Don't want to leave that guy in the middle. He looks quite short, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> Fucking... This is why I need to sign more players. I just don't have enough depth, so this is going to happen. This is just going to happen every time. When we can't play Drax, the... 
Oh my days. This is terrible. Oh no. <laughs> what is going on? Right, I told you I hadn't played FIFA for a while. So I'll, I'll start trying a bit harder now. But um, I will add a disclaimer that I am also playing on remote play to try to stream this with OBS. Which uh, does does put a bit of delay in there, but I don't think I can excuse I don't think I can excuse this performance. Yeah, voice crack one thousand. I'm twenty five but still going through puberty. As you expect. Let's see okay, that's a bit better. Four goals in twenty minutes. I mean If you uh, if you don't call that an enter an entertaining stream, then uh, I don't know what you would call an entertaining stream. But yeah, probably do need to work on our defense a little bit. I know Schalke in real life. I think they've conceded sixty six goals this season, which is like a third more than any other team. So oh my god, this midfield is just so bad. I'm happy with my wingers. My defense isn't that bad, even though they are tired. But my foot. Oh, what the hell was that, Pat? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! You did like a chest pass over my head. This is. <laughs> I don't think I can upload a video with this in it. You know, four-one after twenty-five minutes. Right. Let's try and get the ball moving a bit faster. Oh my god. Do I really rely on Suat Serda this hard? Surely not. Drexler, I can see. But <laughs> Serda and Stambouli in midfield, surely they aren't that important to this team. Let's try and get my ton. It's just run past it. Jesus. It's just run past it. Okay, Stambouli. See, I think Draxler would have had the strength to just sort of hold him off there. Gash, though. That's pretty good from the guy making his... I think it's his first start. They're just running past it. Ah. Oh, better play there. Better play. Let me know if it's still laggy, because it does look like it is on my end. But, um... Yeah, I mean, this is the first time I've done this, so... I would expect it would be not the best experience for everyone, but thanks for coming, everyone who has already. It's like we've got no defense. It's like the midfield doesn't want to defend. The fullbacks just want to attack. And the centre backs just don't want to win the ball. Right, you've got to win that Matondo. Okay, good. Half time already. Jesus Christ. 4 1. So, <laughs> not looking like it's the best match for us so far, I'll be honest. But, um. Yeah, my midfield is indeed weaker than what you just said. <laughs> Uh, Pfeiffer. I, I always see your name, but I always say Pfeiffer, but I don't know if it's like FIFA, but spelt in a cool way. But um, yeah, absolutely. It is very weak. They're slow. They're bad on the ball. They can't defend. So it's never going to be an amazing experience for anyone. 
and yeah I think I'm just gonna have to do some subs bring on my better players even if they are tired I think we've got a decent break after this and then we've got of course the the winter break coming up soon too Jesus Christ PK is on the move from Barcelona though I'm not sure where he'd be going oh yeah also um, if you'd rather have commentary on just slightly quiet while I'm talking um, let me know that too I know that might be better so we can hear stuff like um, where PK is heading but I just leave it off for the videos because it makes it a bit easier to edit because you, you can just cut wherever you don't have to wait for the sentences to finish Oh, it's nearly getting... What the hell was that interception, man? Just lunge. Oh, my... Everything's going wrong in this game. Absolutely everything's going wrong. Just hoof it. They can't score if we hoof it up the pitch, you know. Okay, good tackle that one. Good tackle. Try and get it up the field a bit quicker. Let's see if we can get someone in behind. Oh, just a bit too much on the ball. Hopefully that goes off. We'll make our subs now. Hello, David, in the uh, comments as well. Just seen your message. We've made a mistake. I think we haven't kept too many good players on the bench. I'm going to swap them around. I'm going to try trucks on the wing because that's where we're going to start playing him. I mean, we've got a player with 55 defending and 50 defending playing defensive midfielder. I'm just going to bring on Sani there, I think. Sani and Nastasic, just to try and stop the... Uh, stop the rot. Try and not concede any more goals. But yeah, you can definitely see the need for some transfers now. And um, we'll go into who we want in a minute. You can give me some suggestions if you've got any. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to need to be quite a lot, I think. Damn it, offside. Where am I in the league? I believe I'm seventh and we're playing against last place. So it's uh, absolutely not going well. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we should be doing better than this, that is for sure. Okay, let's cross field ball. He's quite open. Oh, and he's just headed off the pitch. Brilliant. Brilliant fair play. Stampuli. So yeah, I'm looking for a right back. I think they signed someone from Wolfsburg in real life. Raphael, possibly, I think he was called. But if anyone's got any suggestions for a right back. As they get a fifth goal... You can probably see why we need some new defenders. Fifth goal against Bomb in the league, man. This has been coming. There's been some games where we've been pretty lucky with our uh, our performances. And in this one, I apparently just can't even pass. So, <laughs> yeah, not, not the best. Try and stop them getting into this big gap. I think that's the first shot they've missed. That um, the first shot they've had that didn't go in. So at least we've got that going for us. They haven't scored every shot. Get up to Raman. I don't think Drax is going to get him. That's just awful. What am I doing? I shouldn't play that early. Rono, probably outside the box, but you never know, worth stopping it anyway, Matondo, Rono, 
run. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have uh, done such a big touch. Maybe I should get a DM. Yeah, I mean, I'm fancy recalling uh, Weston McKenney, to be honest. Uh, I think he'd be a bit better. But I also want Rakitic or Gundogan. Obviously, I think Gundogan's probably out of our price range for the time being. But I would like... Oh, that's so close. I would like, um, I would like Rakitic to come back to Schalke. I've always been a fan of him since he was, well, on FIFA at least, since uh, he was at Sevilla, I think it was. Not Sevilla, that's where he's at now, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember, where was he before Barcelona? I can't remember which team that was. <laughs> yeah, thanks for acknowledging the battering that is indeed getting, taking place in Bielefeld at the minute, but... Yeah, thank thankfully that's over. Um... Oh, if I could, I'd sack every player that just played, but we were just going <laughs> to skip the uh, press conference too. Yusuf from Nigeria. Is that a right back or is that a defensive midfielder? Let's see what Serdar's moaning about, shall we? Uh, reading some of the stuff people have been saying about me. You want another chance? I, tr <laughs> I literally didn't play him for one match of the season. And he's moaning at me, so. Yeah, that's um, something they'd really need to look at in FIFA, I think. So here's my shortlist of players. I like the look of this guy when we scoured him. He's not too good at running, which I think helps keep things realistic. If you have a player with like 99 pace, you're like guaranteed to score at least 30 goals a season with them. But I want Kalasniac. Is that how you say it? Kalasinac, possibly. And I want Rakitic. Those are the two that I want the most. Because he can defend, even if he is a bit slow. Yeah, all right. He's, yeah, severe, yeah. Oh, so he's gone back. Okay, I thought I was getting confused. Fair, fair enough. But yeah, Gundogan would be cool too, even if he's a bit worse at defending than Rakitic. But yeah, we're just gonna quickly play the next match, I think. So we've only got 15 million. So we might only be able to afford one of the two, I'm thinking. Uh, see what kind of things they say they'll be asking for. Oh, he's, he's recently joined, so we might have to wait. And they'll want like the entire budget for Kalasniac. So yeah, we might have to sell someone and then just recall McKenney, because I do need a left back like super bad. All right, cool. I'll have a look at Yusuf then, if he's a DM. Um, I wonder if I need someone with a bit of pace. So hopefully he's got some pace. Let's have a look. Yusuf. Okay. Yeah, he, he looks pretty good. Yeah, we, we might have to have a look at him. Uh, get him scouted, but... Yeah, that's um. If we're talking about Al Hassan Yusuf, that is, he's uh. Yeah, he's got some pace, some stamina. Pretty good. He's a bit small, but he can't have everything, I guess. It's just uh, hopefully. Yeah, I'm not bothered about losing any of those three. I'm not sure why I'm having so many voice breaks today. Two million for this dude it's tempting it's tempting I think I'm gonna try and get three for him start at like 3.8 don't set for less than three because uh, I know he's good but he's probably not gonna reach his potential while we're doing the career mode so I'd rather just you know use that money for uh, for someone better he's like can save but just not as good wow that's a <laughs> As an honest appraisal, I guess. Well, an honest as well, as honest as you can get, I guess. Um, right, everyone's back now except for Quebec, but we should have someone to replace him. Soda and Shop are gonna have to come in. Yeah, Nastasic is fine. He's left footed. Swap them around. Kazdo, right? I pr 
promise this game is going to go better than the last one. I'm going to make you a sentiment so you don't have as bad, um, as bad of a malice. Who have they got? Griffo is pretty good, I think. Quan Chan was the FIFA player, wasn't he? The uh, not FIFA player, the foot card. Uh, Schmidt's pretty good on foot too. Demerovic, not bad either. But yeah. Fingers crossed it's not a 5 0 That's what I'm going to say. So, a home match in front of the Schalke Faithful. God, you'd have no idea how much I have to re-record most of my lines I say in my videos. I'm so bad at speaking. Let's, uh, let's start by passing it around a bit. Because I know the AI doesn't like not having possession. I just realised, why is Cars up number 6? That is not a right back number. Might have to swap him around with someone. Osikpa, Raman. Overran that shop. Keitel. There's the fullback overlapping. Oh, it feels nice to have players that can tackle again. Raman. Can. Oh, he got there. I was trying to do a slide tackle, to be honest. But he got there somehow. Unfortunately, not quite good enough. Bit of time wasting there from Freiburg already with the goalkeeper. Hopefully that goes off the pitch. Karsdo, hello. Did you not fancy marking Griffo? Good block, though. Good block. Much better than Ludwig in the last match. He wouldn't have been able to catch up there. Sidar and Kars, though, man. Just the difference those two make from having those 60 rated players in that last match is a big improvement. Oh, didn't quite play that pass right. I think it was about 3 0 at this point in the last match, too, so you can say we're definitely improving. Mustasic. Okay, that's good. We've got Drax there to Matondo. Trying to play that behind me to Draxler, but didn't quite get there. No, we've let him cut inside. He's absolutely sliced it. Just get rid of it. Okay, good. Sirdar. Ship. Oh, I think Draxler was in there. If we'd have just, just got that a little bit better. Was that Eric Durham for them? Guy used to play for Dortmund. I'm not too clued up on my uh, Bundesliga anymore. Since I stopped playing foot. Oh no, man. This is. This stream is cursed. Oh. Let's see. I missed a bunch of comments there. Hello, Javier. Win this. Have I seen the man's goal? Um, I haven't. I watched the Leicester match, but I. Um, Thankfully, I accidentally captained uh, Ihanacho for my fantasy football team. Well, I had him vice captain and Sterling didn't play, so I got the, the hat, -trick, uh, hat trick captain. So that was pretty good. Um, and I haven't seen the. I, I haven't been paying attention to the North London derby, to be honest. I'll have to uh, see if I can put it on my second screen quickly. And Raman has just air kicked that, and now it's not looking good. Sane got the pace. Sane? No. I 
Not got the pace. He's got the tackling, though. So, thankfully, he was there for that. Let's see. Serda. Oh, that's terrible. Get it to Draxler. Yeah. Oot. Um, a bit dodgy. A bit dodgy. Not sure about that decision, ref. But... And again, not sure about that decision, ref. But... Right. Let's just quickly go on uh, Reddit Soccer and try and find the uh, Lamella goal. If it's worth talking about. Rabona, okay. Yeah, that looks... Um, looks like one I'll have to uh, have a look at. Ball goes out of play next time. Oh, unlucky Draxler. Title. Yeah, half time. Let's have a look at this goal. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that wasn't quite what I was expecting when I saw in the title the um, Rabona goal, but yeah, along the floor, that's, that's nice, that's nice. You really like how I pronounce the player names accurately? Well, uh, going from the comments on most of my videos, I think um, if you like accurate player names, this is not the right channel for you, especially team names, man. When I did that Polish League video, I was... I was on Google Translate constantly trying to get like the uh, the little speaker thing to pronounce the videos and the places and stuff. God, it, it took me like 10, 20 goes to get some of them right. If they even are right, that is. Armatondo. Have it. Matondo. Shame they got rid of him in real life. Well, he's on loan to Stoke, isn't he? But decently for Stoke. But, uh, yeah, yeah, he's playing playing good for us, that is for sure. Maybe, you know, if they played him more, they would have been higher up the Bundesliga than last with one win in about 30 matches. But, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Proving that um, I'm not as bad as that first game made me seem, that is for sure. Uh, right, let's focus, get the win for this one. And then it's the transfer window after that. So, yeah, if anyone does have any suggestions for uh, for players we can sign in that, I'd be right happy to, uh, to know them. Come on, lads. Oh, ref. Again, another dodgy decision. Uh, Bozdegan for Matondo. Yeah, I think I'm not going to do that one, assistant manager. When he's literally the only way I can score at this point, it seems like. Oh, does that sitch? Shup, not too bad. Oh. Oot. Okay, Raman. Oh, Raman. However, I can't remember what someone said. It's with a German R? I'm not too sure what that actually is. A German R. Okay. You see the difference that just having fifteen more in the mid, fifteen more overall, and some of these midfielder players actually makes they're so much better just everywhere. Cut inside. Ah, uh, Matondo's probably not going to win that. And weird collision between Holler and Serdar. Uh, that's payback for what that weird collision did to him. Alright. Oh, no, goalkeeper. Oh my god. Ah, annoying. Lewis Graven is a hidden gem. I um, respectfully disagree on that. I'm afraid, uh, Alex. Not this season, anyway. Maybe, la <laughs> maybe last season. 
he's more like a uh, a hidden turd these days. But yeah, you never know. Maybe maybe he'll come good on his thirty fifth birthday instead of his thirty fourth. Right, German R's are like French R's. Okay. Translate robot voice isn't right. Well, <laughs> that's as close as I can get. There is that one web page where people like upload themselves speaking. I use that one quite a lot too. But thankfully I've just been doing sort of MLS videos. Oh, what am I doing? Let's get the ball away. So going up to ultimate is a lot harder than I was expecting it to be based on going up through all the other difficulties. Like I've always played on probably the second highest because I always feel like the AI cheats quite a lot on the highest. But um, yeah, it's not quite as bad as the highest difficulty on Pez if anyone's played that because they do literally just cheat. Like the ball just goes through players. I know that happens on FIFA, but it's like every shot on Pez when I used to play that more than FIFA. So come on, this is time for a quick counter-attack. Can Drexler get there? No, oh, not quite. Not quite. I think it's ever since that match against... Uh, that match against Bayern Munich, where it was like a 6-1 against me. It's absolutely demoralised my players. Have they brought on Pavoletti? Is that the guy with the massive beard? Yes, that's more like it, Draxler. That's what you live to see. Nice. Let's see, what what have I missed? Hello, Fizz. How's it going? Yeah, it's PS5. I got lucky, I pre-ordered one the day they came out, or the day the, the uh, pre-release was um, announced. Sub Draxler off after he scored. Waste a bit more time, hopefully. Get out. Hard earned 2 2 against Freiburg, man. So it's not great to say that. Um, yeah, difficulty is always weird on, on games like this. That's one of the uh, the best things about the F1 games is the, or just racing games in general, is they have the sliders where it goes from sort of, you know, 0 to 110, for example. And each point is a different difficulty. So, you know, some races you'll be an 86, sometimes you're a, a 95 kind of thing. But, um, yeah, wow, look at that, man. Those stats are just horrifying. 32% possession. I feel ashamed, man. I feel ashamed. You got your PS5 coming on the 19th. Um, yeah, I'd say it's. I mean, I. I mainly play FIFA on it. Uh, the only other next gen game we've got, or I've got, is um, Valhalla, Sunscreen Valhalla. And that's pretty good. But um, I play on PC too, so I think my PC, even with a. Uh, I've got an RX 580 and a Ryzen 5, I still think it's um, it does better graphics than a PS5 does. And it's, you know, I, I don't think it would be cheaper if you bought it new, but. Yeah, right. It looks like it's um, it's the transfer window now. Who's our next game? Wolfsburg. We'll probably play these two in the stream, and then um, we'll end the stream around the first of January. So we've got like an hour, an hour or so. Transfers. Right. Let's have a think. First of all, I'm fed up swapping these around, so we'll do those. What's the most important position that we need to upgrade? Ozipka is pretty good. Even though he's low rated, I could do with someone faster though. Even if it's in like an 83 pace like this. You can tell I'm a goofy gooby how my Discord profile is Lance Stroll. Yes. I like Lance Stroll. I've met him in real life a couple of times. He's a very nice man. Even if he uh, is a very rich man. And you can tell by the cars he drives. But I think it's hard to get into F1 without 
being very rich these days. So, you know, he's he's pretty down to earth from uh, from my meetings I've had with him. Ross likes my videos. Thanks, Ross. I like your comment. Very nice to hear. A bit more Pepsi. AI teams start beating you because they have stronger stats, not because they base they play smart. Yeah, exactly. It's like um. I remember, I think it was PES 6, there was an option file, which is sort of like a, a mod for it. And to make the AI harder, all they did was make every player's dribbling speed 99, um, and everyone on your team was like 60. So their players would be able to dribble a lot faster and have more acceleration, just to make it a bit harder. You're, Felix, you're happy with Felix Bush's position to left winger? Oh yeah, let's have a look through the Youth Academy. Some uh, some pretty cool looking players in here. This is the guy that I'm most interested in in, in signing up. Six foot six centre midfielder. Like, that's just insane. It's like having like Woot Weghurst, Veghorst. I think it's Veghorst, isn't it? To uh to play in centre midfield. <laughs> He's already got the strength and the stamina. He might not have the pace yet, but you can tell that's gonna start soaring soon. I'm training him on balanced as well because I think he'd be like an amazing box to box midfielder. Uh, his finishing is 43, but his defending's also like 54. So, man, when he, if he does have like 90 potential, he's six foot six midfielder. He is going to be insane. Zimmerman here, he kind of reminds me like uh, Max Meyer, who used to play for Schalke. He kind of looks a bit like him, five star skills to center attacking midfielder, six foot. Uh, Bush, Bush is, uh, he's pretty average, not going to lie, but he's got high potential, good skill moves, high, high work rates, so it's, it's all good. Friedrich, again, signed him because of his hair, but kept him because he's actually really good. He's a right back as well, so he might be a good backup to uh, to Mr. Karsdorp. Alfonso Rivas looks pretty cool too, Six foot four. I do like my tall players, if you can't tell. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, Vestergaard as well, yeah, five star work, five star weak for right winger, so he, he'd be more like an inside forward, I think, which is why I'm training him to be inverted winger. Good pace, good curve, which I don't think I really use too much, but, yeah, not too bad. Um, right, how am I? I'm good, thank you very much. It's a Sunday here, just... The fact that I'm a Pepsi person is fascinating. Bring a wing back that plays in both positions. Play cars up and the left winger at the... At versus the left wing back and the better player. That's true, actually. That might be good. That might be a good idea. Um, cars up can only play right back. But if I could get someone who played both, you know, that, yeah. Or if there's someone who could play like left wing and left back, so I can play maybe left back versus the worst teams, so he's a bit more attacking. Yeah, that could work. Um, as would someone who plays like left wing and can. But I've already got Straxler who can do that. I mean, perfect world. I would just swap. Actually, yeah, I think if I need a left winger. I sent him out on loan because in real life he um, actually had some pretty bad attitude issues, but it seems like he's back playing again now. But I think a week before I started the career mode, he'd been dropped and told to leave the club, but he's back playing for them and he's I think he scored quite a few goals. So I, uh, I think I'm just going <laughs> to... I think I'm going to just um, bring him back from the loan at Sociedad. F1 drivers are extremely competitive rich kids. Yeah, I, I don't think I could see it better. Same as basketball players are ridiculously tall. Yeah, it's, I suppose it's similar, isn't it? You inherit your wealth from your parents and your height too. Hello, Josh. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm like when yeah when you keep your head when you keep his head yeah. I think a, a large part of wanting to play your youth players is that they look cool. So um, yeah, fully understand everyone's views on that. Let's just sim until the first. Harriet was providing all the assists for Hop. Yeah. See, Hop, I I think I got him... I got I made the save before he started kicking off. 
So I think my versions, he's like 61 rated, 62 rated. But he's only got about 80 potential, whereas now I think he's up to like 85-ish, I think, from SoFIFA. And I do like the idea of signing a couple more American players, but um, yeah. If anyone's got any recommendations for that. A few messages here. Ludwig's been recalled. Okay, that means we've got one left, uh, one right back at the team. Fair enough. Um, Langer's been transferred with transfer listed, don't really care about that. Who who have we got here? Mustafa I think you say that Chelik, maybe? Selik? Don't know if anyone's Turkish in the uh, in the video let me know. But don't think we're gonna need him to be honest. I think he'll probably be a centre mid with with average potential. We're never gonna sign this guy, so let's just get rid of him. I don't think people have noticed how much how much of a Turkish influence Schalke have. Oh my god. Wow, okay. 58 to 78. 1.4 million. Okay. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone think we should sign him, maybe? We've got a 53 to 69 too. He's not quite as good. But, holy shit. It's like Jorn Hahn, I think you'd say that one. Yeah, I'm not even going to wait for people to re respond. He He's going straight in the youth academy. <laughs> Fucking hell. I don't think I've seen a, a player with that kind of rating before. Jesus Christ. 5'7", 63 overall. So he's not too highly rated. He's about the same as Vestergaard, who we already have. But two years younger... Uh, full star skill moves, good crosses. So he's more of a traditional winger. It looks like bad at finishing, good at crossing, good at curve, skill moves. I'd say probably I prefer his work rates medium, medium to high low as well. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Looking forward to using him. Five for eight as well, so it's not too bad. Right footed, right mid. Cool. Let's get him trained up, make him a right winger. I suppose. I mean, his defending is not too bad. We could maybe even make him a right wing back if we ever decide to do that. But we're going to go... I think... Is there one of these that does finishing, isn't there? That one. Inverted wide midfielder. I think that looks good for him. He's got low stamina. His dribbling's already fine. But, yeah, that's a good one for him. Inverted wide midfielder. Him and, him and that six foot four guy are going to be... Pretty good. Let's see if we've got any other offers before we do this. Transfer window, yeah. Vestergaard's looking to end his contract. Well, I'm not that bothered. You feel free, you know. You're good, but I've already got a better player, so. Uh, M. Schumacher has raced his way to Stromgodset. Ibisevic wants more money. Toronto want hot. Oh, is it Hop or is it Hopper? I'm not too sure. Are you looking forward to be playing with Schalke in the two dot Bundesliga? Indeed I am. Although I think I've seen someone say that they think that Schalke will get double relegated, like South um not Southampton. Well I guess Southampton did do it, but like uh, Sunderland have recently. Um You're not having that by the way. You're not buying this boy. Oh yeah, there you go. Just piss off. Um yeah, um, I, I think they might be at risk of it, although I can't see it happening, because I think they'll just, they'll have too much money, but if they did get double relegated, I think they would be literally every single, every single person's career mode in 20, or FIFA 23, I guess it'd be, that sounds weird to say, let's see what else we've had, should we scout the MLS, I think they have pretty good Mexican forwards, yeah, they do, um, they have, I think one of the most exciting MLS players that has come through recently is Daryl DK, who now plays for Barnsley on loan. He's like super strong, um, but yeah, I don't think he'd really fit into the team at the minute, unfortunately. Again, Pacienza. I like Pacienza because I like the physical striker, but like I said in my um, catch-up video for this, he's just a bit slow, you know, it's hard to play with him. So, 
Yeah. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to recall Hyret. Was it Harret? Hyret again. Forgive me for pronouncing everything wrong and my many voice cracks. Um, 147,000. Yeah. Getting back. So, I don't think he played a single match for them from when I had a look through that stats. So, which way around do you think we should play him? Should we have Hyra in the middle or Drexa in the middle? Because it's going to be some variation of this. Um, so yeah, if you want to let me know what you guys think, we'll uh, give it a go in the first match. See, now we have a winger. We could even play Raman at front because he's a lot faster, but pretty weak. It all depends, I guess. If We're, we're going to have him on the bench for sure. And probably have Patsy Ed's uh, shop. I've really had some bad players on this bench. And better ones on here, haven't I? This is this has been bad. Who needs a goalkeeper as well? So we, <laughs> we'll go into matches with four strikers, a centre mid, a full back, and a centre back. Yeah, it sounds like something a FIFA player would do. Uh, right. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, it's centre attack and mid. Yeah, cool. Looks good. I think Shop can play right back as well, can't he? Yeah, right wing back. So he would be a good backup, I guess. So then we don't have to replace the uh, Loney that just disappeared. Let's see. So I'm Kyle Duncan, potential left and right back. Yeah, he's pretty good on FIFA. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to get Klasniach for that right, uh, the left back spot. But... Because ah, I've been an idiot and I've only scouted right back instead of full back. But, um, yeah. Oh, there's a player that I like. Javier Pastore from Sheffield United. Ben Arthur. Man, that would be a good one. Ben Arthur and Pastore, they're, they're the kind of players that I like using on FIFA. Anyone else in here? Nicholas Eliasson. He's really good in real life. He's a very tricky winger. Uh, Jan Caramo. Don't know if everyone, everyone remembers, but... Yeah, he used to play, um, he used to have so much potential. Now I don't think he's quite fulfilled it. Javinho at Everton. I like Andreva as well. He's a decent player. He'd be pretty cheap as well. I'm quite tempted by that, but I, I love signing my old players. My favourite player ever is Johan Gorkuf. I always used to sign him on every career mode. So Ben Arthur's like a bit of a, a blast from the past in that one. Nikola Kalinic. Not bad. Who have we got good scout reports on? Mbolo. He also used to be the, the main man, if everyone remembers. When he was at... What was he at? He played in Switzerland for... Was it Young... Not Young Boys? I can't remember which team it was. I don't want to offend anyone, so I won't guess. But he used to be the man. I think Selka also used to be the man too, didn't he? High potential. Rashika. Bit too expensive. <laughs> Jose Altidore speaking of an American striker he's probably about the same weight as um, Daryl DK that someone's put there 100 kilograms yeah Mbolo did you play for them yeah oh it's Basil that's the one yeah yeah I mean he, he'd be good on the wing as well I guess Mbolo but Man City's John Guade now 28 seems like he's a lot older than that Jovetic Falke he'd be interesting attacking mid but I don't know why I'm looking through the strikes. We don't really need one. We don't need a goalkeeper or a centre back either. Um, pair returns from loan. Hire it. Good. I'm just gonna let's see if we can see what kind of prices they want for people on here. Uh, I'm trying to not make this too long because I don't want it to last forever. The oh, so he's at Napoli now, so that's not gonna happen because he's just joined them. I want Urzel. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really want to, really want Urzel, but he's a bit too expensive at the time. Still can't buy Rakitic. Yeah, I mean, ninety million. Do you think we should sign Goretzka for ninety million, guys, or or not? Klasniac again. Keep saying his name over and over again. So I'm just gonna fast forward a week. See if we get any offers. Go from there. Because, uh, fingers crossed, we do get a big offer for someone that we don't want. Right, if we get like an 8 million offer for Ozpika, 
that would solve everything, you know. Quebec, 30 million. Okay, Vestergaard's left. Quebec for 30 million. What are we saying? Has Goethe gone down in value? I think that would be a uh, a pretty... Oh, my God. 33 to 40, 48. I mean... Let's, we're going to have to negotiate this one. Can I say Gluck Alf? There you go. I've said Gluck Alf. Sell Quebec. Indeed. That's what's happening right now. Mr. Conte's here. They want to pay 30 million. I wonder if you've got any left backs. Color of bit old. Um, as much as I would like to swap him for someone like this, a Vidal or an Angolan, I can't see it happening. You got a striker you don't want? Oh man, Alexis. Alexis. Oh, 30 million plus Alexis. Play him right mid or even up front. I'm so tempted to do that. That was good. Okay. I'm glad that was good. Morelos. Roman says. Again. Yeah, not bad. Did you do a player career mode with Hunthlar? Just retired straight away. I did indeed. I had to put him on Bayern Munich. Um, because it's, if you put them on a team that's one star. Sorry, was that Handanovic for 2 million? FIFA is broken when it comes to old players. Um, what should we say? I think we'll go 44 million. 30 million and 8%. Yeah, wages, that's a problem with uh, with these older players. Um, uh, let's try 39, should we say? I think 39 would would be a good price for him. 39 million. Okay. You can get Buffon for one pound. Exactly. And I think if you do that, they still complain that you've spent too much. So, got a Romanian team. I mean, that would be a good offer, but I think that one's expired. Uh... No, I don't think I'll sell uh, Buliab because I think he'll be like a low 70 by the end of the season. Okay, so if we sell Quebec, what have we got? We've got Nastasic and Sane and Stambouli. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to stop saying uh, stop saying German words because uh, I don't want to end up... Uh, end up on the news for insulting people or something, but um, that one is Krankenhaus. Use the oil more. Yeah, I would, but I loaned him out to Preston, I think. So, again, yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. I might recall him from his loan. Let's see if he can. I wonder how much that would cost. Not, oh, £10,000. I'm not sure I can afford that, but maybe when Quebec leaves, we'll... Uh, We'll have a look into it. I'm pretty happy with the crack. Um, the Quebec, sorry. I keep saying crack. Uh, the Quebec transfer. I think that's a pretty realistic one, you know. Obviously, in January, he did leave. So, well done, FIFA. You uh, got something got something right there. Skip a few more days ahead. Has he left? Quebec sold. 32 million. There's the Venezuela pestering me again. Leave me alone. I don't want to come to South America. Although, can I say a sentence in German? Was ist das? There you go. What a basic sentence that is. I studied German for a little bit, but yeah, absolutely is not my first language. I'd struggle to put it in my top five, to be honest. <laughs> um... Yeah, you don't want to leave. What should we spend this? What should we spend this thirty-two million on them? We've got forty-seven in the bank. Uh, let's try and add up what they want. Twenty million for Urzil. Jesus Christ! I'm not sure. I'm not sure we should go for that one. Klasnia, down to thirteen. I'm just gonna buy him. So. Buy some old players that are high rated. That's what I was thinking there with Alexis. 
good meeting here between Arteta and Mr. Uh, Hunter. Let's give them 11. See if they'll accept 11. Yes. Not bad. 11. What's his wages looking like, though? I'm actually too sure what I should offer him his wages. <sighs> what is that? Not bad. Thanks, uh, Darian. It's good because they're cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do like signing older players, as I'm sure you could probably tell from my career mode so far. You would be a crucial player, indeed. Four years, sure. Sure. You'll be 31. No release clause. Sure, sure, sure. Chiellini's 10 to 15 million. That is... It's a bargain for Chiellini. Kolasniac wants to take that much of a pay cut, does he? Sure, we'll get rid of the bonus, but the rest is fine. Not quite what we're looking for, but for 40 grand a week... I don't think we're going to get a better player, really. The best thing is he can play centre-back as well. They both can. They've got the same positions, actually. So, uh, same height, almost. Same weight. They're very similar, but just a bit more pace on Kolasniac. Way more physical, but slightly better defender. Same passing. Yeah. Happy with that. Happy with that. So... Our defence is looking pretty good now. Of course, Ronald's leaving in the summer, but we'll have to buy someone in in the summer to replace him. Hyret Stambouli Matondo. It is looking like striker might be our weak point now. Despite Oots being pretty good, Draxler. I think Stambouli's... Yeah, it's going to have to be a backup centre mid. So... Yeah, I could sign a young midfielder. That's true. I mean, a young... A young goalkeeper. But um, I think I have this guy in my youth academy that's... Um, that looks pretty good. Finn Schultz, 6'6". Six six. Also, he's got the one could player trait, which I actually really like. I like that. Um, I like that in a player. Nearly finished my Pepsi. Might have to go get another one. If any, has anyone else got any traits? I've not actually looked. No, it looks like just him. But a one club goal, a one club goalkeeper. That's a uh, that's pretty good. He could be our Donna Rummer even if we train him up. Let's see. Uh, let's put him on a development plan quickly. What's he weak at? He's very slow. But his handling the lowest parts. So we'll make him a sweep keeper. Yeah, I like the look of that guy. We've got a absolute ton of wages now. Um, and we need someone who can play right wing. Although I think Hyrek can, can't he? He can't play right wing. Okay, interesting. Um, what are my sliders? I'm just using the operate in operation... <laughs> yeah, unlike the club trait annoyer. Exactly right. Um, I'm just using the operation sports sliders. So if you uh, if you just search Operation Sports sliders, you'll you'll find them pretty easily. Uh, is there anyone else on here we can sign quickly? We're probably not going to need Philip Max, although he has just joined them. You've just joined. I mean, he plays right wing. Ozil. Let's uh, let's just have a quick look at my list that I always post in my. Uh, in my descriptions. Uh, studio. Here we go. Let's just fast forward to this quickly. See if there's anyone on this list that might be interesting to sign. Um, let's see. McKenny, Not really. Dara, Demir Bay. He might be interesting. He's pretty good. Kachuku. Yeah, no one, no one too, no one too good on that. I suppose we can sign someone who's uh, never played for Schalke before. Let's see, any more offers for anyone? Nastasic for nine million. I don't think so. Nah, I don't think so. That's a pretty poor offer, I think. Do I think McLaren would get a? 
race win this year? Um, maybe. They've got the Mercedes engine, which seems pretty good. Um, Danny Ricciardo's good too. Wow. Rennie is at Dortmund now. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely possible. I'm going to add you to the shortlist. I'm, I'm pretty interested in signing him back. Selka's not too bad. Yeah, probably a bit unrealistic to sign Jonathan David, but I wouldn't mind him, that's for sure. Lorente, how much would he cost? Oh, he's retiring. I would, I'd be very con, I'd very much consider signing Lorente if he wasn't retiring. Falke and Jovetic. Right, I already need to change this so it's a centre mid. We don't need a right back anymore. Get out of here. There we go. Um, we do need like a central midfielder, I guess. So we'll start scouting for one of those. Goalkeeper still needed. We've got Sven Ulrich. The old Bayern Munich dude. Let's see how Hamburg are doing in D2 Bundesliga quickly. So, well, that's how we're doing. I suppose we haven't looked at this for a while. We're down to 10th after those two recent matches where we got a loss and a draw against... Oh, Bielefeld have gone up quite a bit. It's Freiburg who are bottom of the league. We got 2-2 against them. Bielefeld have gone up from, I think, 16th to 13th. So, yeah, not too bad. Right back, Kenny from Everton. I think he's already on loan somewhere, so I can't sign him. I think he's... Uh, is he at Celtic? You're on FIFA 14, looking at the Schalke team, realise how good they are. Exactly, yeah. That's why it's a, it's quite sad to see how they've fallen. But I suppose if you manage a team badly, you've got to kind of expect it, haven't you? It would be interesting to see how Premier League, if a Premier League team did this. But I think there's just too much money in the Premier League. They'd just be able to buy their way out. 17 million for Hyrule. No, I think that's a poor offer. I'm going to reject that one. It's not like Quebec where it's literally life-changing amounts of money for us. Okay, central midfielder. But Delge. Oh, here we go. This is some, some decent players in here. Gary Medell. He would definitely, uh, definitely improve stuff in the middle. John Drew Kenny was on. Yeah, I I know he was on loan at, at Schalke, but I think he's gone to Celtic now for the uh, for the season. So I wouldn't be able to sign him anyway, unfortunately, because he would be a good player. I fully agree with that. Uh, Pedro. Yeah, Pedro would be pretty cool, I guess. Although I feel like I'm just going to spend the money on Mbolo, to be honest. Um. Oh, we we'd have to play him right mid. That's the problem. Unless we uh, right. I think I'm just gonna play this next game. See how Kolasniac does, and then um, and then we'll take it from there. Cool. So let's just quickly go through. At Wolfsburg this time, so the Volkswagen Arena, the nice uh, green kit of Wolfsburg there. Okay. Ah, oh, good. That's a. Exactly what we needed from him there, that first tackle from Kalesniac. Trying out the skills with uh, Hyrat. He's up against Mbabu, everyone's favourite uh, FIFA right back on Ultimate Team, it seems. So it's going to be tough for him. Okay, good good play that from Nastasic. Let's get it out here. It's not so strong from Hyrat though, but we can't really expect that. 
pointless bit of skill, but you got to do it. I uh, couldn't quite get it to the overlap there. And now he's massively out of position, so... Wow, okay. <laughs> Irit, showing his defensive ability. Thoughts on the Scottish League strikers, Edward? Yeah, they do. Um, I suppose, yeah. I suppose I could sign one of those. That'd be quite, quite interesting. Maybe we sign both, play in 4 But I think Morelos is the better striker. Especially on FIFA. Oh, I was away. Drexel was through there. He's absolutely... He knows what he's doing there, Brooks. John Anthony Brooks. But, uh... Yeah, I might scout Morelos, see how much they want for him. It, I think... The one I really want is Mbolo. But... Mm, maybe I'll go for... Maybe I'll go for th Thingy instead. See, we've got striker, right, mid, and centre mid. They're all decent, but they're not great, if you get me. Um, oh, they're the best kinds of shots. When you just curl them around the defenders, man, this looks so good. So, yeah, Kalasniac's debut. He's already started off well. Oh, come on. He's won the ball. He's absolutely... Red! Okay, um, this hasn't gone so well, not gonna lie, um, I don't really see how that's a red card, but I have to agree to disagree with the ref, uh, what should we do here, Stambouli, yeah, I was gonna try and play Klasniac, but of course Stambouli can play there. And we'll just have to play Draxler as a defensive midfielder, I guess. Or we'll move him to left centre mid. Damn. Yeah, I mean, it was a bit risky diving in, I guess. But oh, then they nearly scored the free kick as well. It was a bit risky, but whatevs. We did our best. It's going to be a hard game from here. But we've got two fast wingers now, not just the one. So we, we can always counter-attack. And that was them trying to link up there. Unfortunately, um, uh, what's his name? Mba Mbabu is uh, just too strong. And now he's overlapping. Okay. Slide tackles aren't really paying off for us in this one. But Mbabu's out of position here. If Draxler can find one of the wingers. It was ambitious, not going to lie. You're playing in the A League, okay. What team are you playing as? There's some good ones in that. Um, my favourite thing about the A League is there's the player called Bobo who plays for Sydney. He's 37, he's just rejoined them. Uh, he's the record goal scorer in the whole league ever. I think he got 27 goals. So I, I've wanted to make a video about him for a while, seeing if you can uh, use his last, last season to break the record. What do you suggest if you don't want player training? You don't want to play... Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> this is a... This has not gone well for me this match either. A red card. And then that. Okay. Jesus Christ. You scored a goal with someone called Doodoo today. Yes. I think that's Joe Doodoo, isn't it? It's from uh, Nottingham, I believe. I think he used to play for Leicester, possibly. But. Yeah, pretty funny name. Pretty funny name. Your team from New Zealand, ah, Wellington Phoenix, yeah, cool team that, um, they used to have, oh, I can't remember his name, there was the left back who's really, really high potential, but yeah, unfortunately he's gone to somewhere in the low countries, I can't remember if it was Netherlands or Belgium.
You know why I'm not scoring is because I'm not doing step overs and bridge move. Yeah, that's kind of why I stopped playing Ultimate Team. I got fed up of just the fucking bridge move, bridge move over and over again. Especially when the players start getting accelerations in the in the nineties. Yeah, it got a bit a bit annoying. Because now like every player has perfect pace and stuff, and it's it's just not fun to play. And career mode's not perfect, but I think it's more enjoyable for me, personally. Can you get past them, Babu? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I started getting dark here in the UK. I'm going to have to uh, turn my lights on at halftime, I think. Which... By the way, we're nearly there. But Matondo, that's a good ball. Oh, yes. There it is. Goes around the goalkeeper. Celebrates by pointing at the linesman. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. And Babu, who's been the only one. I'm not sure how that's an own goal for Brooks. Not going to lie. I swear that was Mbabu on the line. But maybe I'm wrong. I think it was probably going in. Uh, <laughs> see if there's a, uh, a replay of that. Because I don't know how that's a... Does it touch him? Like, it's already going in, so I don't know how you can give that as an... How can you give that as an own goal? It doesn't even touch Brooks. Oh, it does. There. It touches him. Damn, man. Yeah, Joe Doody plays for Rangers. That's the one. I knew he played in blue. <laughs> I just, uh... I forgot which blue team it was. Uh, oot now. Hopefully we can finally get a win on stream. My first one. Kolesniak has been pretty good for us so far. That first tackle he did was solid. And I don't think Ospika would have would have made it. Damn, holding off. Oh my god, we got lucky there. And I think that was actually Klasnach's fault. Just totally left his man unmarked. We've got Karsdorp. Matondo. Can you... Oh, I think I was just offside anyway. So I think William, or William, depending on how you want to say it, actually plays for Schalke now, if I'm not mistaken. Let's throw it out to Matondo. Um, yeah, I think he transferred there in the summer break. I don't know why I keep trying to beat him, Babu. He's he's not gonna get beaten, is he? He's rapid, and I don't think Hyrit is actually that fast. So, all right, he's offside. Yeah, missed anyway. Do I watch Barfy Boy? To be honest, I don't really watch too much FIFA on YouTube at all. Um, at the start of each FIFA, I watch sort of docs and um. What's his name? Kutsi. I watch the Youth Squad Legends stuff. Uh, Fuji's pretty good on... I watch his streams occasionally, but again... I wouldn't say I'm a, a religious viewer of any of the... Any FIFA content, really. I mean, back in the day, there was... What's his name? Sam 5000 I? I think it was Sam 5000 I. He was he was really good. I used to come home from school, watch Sam 5000 I's original Road to Glory. Um... Yeah, that was, that was good days. There was also... Oh, I can't remember what the other guy's name was. I think he just does Minecraft videos or something now. But he used to be really good at FIFA videos. Back in, like... This is the... Sort of... What's going on there? Don't be a penalty ref, surely. Oh, my God. Um, This is back in, like, the FIFA 14 days, of course. Come on, don't score, please. Oh my god. 
annoying. What team do you support? Do you play football manager? I support Nottingham Forest in the English Championship. And yeah, every year I play about a thousand hours of football manager. I think it's a it's a better game than FIFA, but sometimes you just want to play the matches, you know. It's a bit like um if you're a history game fan, you've got the Paradox strategy games or Civ, for example. And then sometimes you just want to play the battles. And even though Total War is a worse game, you just want to do the battles. So you play Total War and just have to suck it up. So, um, yeah. I think it's one of those situations, really, where you just have to accept that it's worse in some areas just to enjoy playing it. And that's what a lot of my channel is. It's just making sure you can keep it a bit more realistic yeah I think it's too hard to really keep up with FIFA career modes if you're playing a lot of them um, watching a lot of them because you miss one episode and then you all of a sudden you've, you've got this massive time sink that you've then got to watch sort of three hours to to catch up with what's going on so yeah that's probably why I don't watch too much career mode I think it was the same when um if anyone used to watch like FIFA Rally when he did foot videos, you'd miss one episode of it and you'd be like, oh, I, I've then got to watch that whole episode and then, then another one to be up to date. And then eventually you miss out on one and you just stop watching it, which is why I made the recap video so that people can just sort of jump in wherever rather than having to watch all, I think this is like episode eight, I'm going to edit this into. So yeah, could I make football manager videos? Um, I actually did make a couple. I think they're unlisted on my channel now. Um, they were more of tutorials than me playing Football Manager. But, yeah, I've, I've been interested in doing it. But I think a lot of what I cover is covered by people like Zealand, who is actually really good. Really good for, uh, Football Manager YouTuber. Why is Cars Dorp on the right mid? What's going on there? Okay. Yeah, I mean, watching... Oh, my God. Okay, sorry. For a minute, I thought Nastasic was playing attacking mid. I was wondering what the hell was going on. Um, yeah, I think a lot of content on YouTube, no matter how boring it is, even my stuff's boring to, uh, to quite a lot of people, I think. I think it's just the personality of the person. You have to like them to actually watch the content. And I think with worse content, for example. So, yeah, I think to play for... Like, the screaming, annoying... Um, YouTubers like I've tried to watch Castro and stuff I just really don't enjoy it especially when it's like the pre-release to FIFA and you just want to watch you just want to like see the new FIFA or like f see some of the new cards that haven't come out and stuff so he's like the only way you can see it and he's just like sat there screaming that was terrible by the way it's um it's just annoying Q&A at 10k. I mean, if you've got any questions, just ask them now and I can answer as many as you want. Um, but, yeah. I mean, what kind of things would you want to know about me? On oh, Man. That goal was fair enough. And there's no need for this celebration. <laughs> but, um... I mean, come on, it's 3-1, you're already winning. I know it's just a time waste or whatever, but come on. Hold the skip, yeah. Drax just hit it, hopefully it goes in. That first goal where the goalkeeper ran into the post. I think I have a right to be, uh, right to be annoyed at that one. Yeah, creators with the fake excitement and wild thumbnails. I agree. I mean, if I see something like that with that man with a big shocked face, I just don't want to click on the video because I know it's just going to annoy me. The celebration is awesome, I agree. It's a lot more awesome when you actually score it yourself, though. <laughs> not, not an AI. Skipping the press interview yet again. I think... Oh, no. I've accidentally done it. Brilliant. Klesniac, a letdown. No, I think he had a good game, actually. But 
feel free reporter to start insulting my players. Nastasic is suspended, not the first time. I'm sure we've got someone else you can fit in. Probably Gash. Two defeats in a row versus Wolfsburg. Yeah, we do have work to do defensively. Apparently that's really annoyed uh, annoyed people. I hate when you get the screaming YouTubers. Exactly, exactly. What am I doing? Why am I saving? Okay. Um cool. So we've got thirty six million to spend. And so Yeah, we're gonna need a centre back. I mean this has just proved it, I think. We got a bit lucky that we're in the transfer window when I've realised, but we literally have we're gonna have to play like Klasniac at centre back. Which I mean to be fair we've got Stambouli as well. Yeah. Uh we don't need a we don't need a centre back. We'll just get a defensive midfielder. Is a next gen console worth it? Because you didn't get one because you put on PC and they're so hard to get. Should I wait a few months? Um Like I said right at the start of playing this uh right at the start of the stream. At the minute I'd say it's probably not worth getting because there's not too much that you can actually do on a PS5 that you can't do, especially if you're on PC. Um I'm a big racing game fan, as I'm sure you probably know. So, for me, I'd buy it for like Gran Turismo or something. If there's like one game you really want to play, is Mustafi injured because you're playing Klasniac centre back? I made the save before Klasniac, uh, before Mustafi actually joined, so I haven't bought him. But that's actually a good point. I'll see how much, see how much he'd be going for. Okay, a lot of Mustafas. Mustafi. There you go. Hopefully he's not already there. Oh, he's gone to Getafe. On loan. So we can't even buy him the first transfer window, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll have to wait until summer to sign him. But yeah. One thing I haven't looked at is the transfers. It's, there's a way to see like the biggest transfers, right? I can't remember where it is. Um, definitely used to be anyway. Right, let's look through these. Frankfurt are annoyed we're not playing Pacienza. That's not too much. Rono's developed. Stambouli's a good captain, is he? Okay. I've never actually seen this. Seen this happen. Can I make a guide on Leipzig? They have a really great project. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that sounds like a good one. Sounds like a good one indeed. I know they um they signed Oliver Burke from Forest, who I support. And a lot of the reason he left was instead of going, I think he had an offer from Southampton or Newcastle. It's on the transfer tab. Uh, transfer history, this. There it is. All clubs. Um, I think... Oh, Jesus, some of these transfers, man. In my appeal, yeah. Just what we needed... Not so sure about that one, but it makes sense. Joe Gomez. At least we don't have to play against Davies anymore, I guess. Muller leaving Bayern to replace Odegaard. I think uh, I think that Odegaard one happened before his loan was. So it was actually FIFA predicting the right move. That'd be a good signing for Manu for sure. Leipzig got absolutely um they must be loaded. I think they've sold three players for over fifty million. But I don't think they've bought anyone else. Oh Sabitzer as well. Nice. Ramos the Dortmund. Okay, that's not one I'm gonna look forward to playing against. Um anyway, yeah, back to Leipzig. This is a, yeah, it's a good idea for a video. I'll probably make it. On the F1 game, do you play with a controller or a wheel? Um, up until recently, a controller, but now I play with a wheel. I've got a Logitech G29, so pretty cool. Um, Danny Olmo went there, Angelino. Yeah, they've got they've got some good players for sure. You can see how in demand they are from what is that trade dives and cycle. You see how in demand they are from the amount of players they've sold on here. All right, I'm gonna sign Mbolo. I think. Oh, it's going to be like all the budget, though. 
Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Unless there's a good winger in here. Someone interesting. David Brooks, the Juventus man. He's good, but I'm not sure he's that good. Andre, are you a bit old? I'm going to get Kandriva, I think, as well. A good backup centre back option would be Babic from Bosnia, who's an absolute man mountain. Alright, let's have a look at him. Let's see if he is as man mountain as has um, suggested. Serdan Babic, six foot five. I'll give him a scout. 18 days, so he's probably not going to be a scout before the end of the transfer window. But, um, hell yeah, we'll give him a scout. His check. I think that would break a lot of Dortmund hearts if we signed him. Fazio, he's just too slow. Top rack. Things I say to my girlfriend. Um, anyone in here yet? Good heart. Gila Uh How long to scout Bedell? 18 days. Okay. I'm thinking... Um, Right. right. You never watch streams, so that's how I know this is a good one. Um, it's the first one I've ever done, so uh, if this is good, then it's an honour. But I honestly don't think it's... Uh... Well, hopefully there's room for improvement, that's all I'm going to say. Let's have a look at some of these players. Richter. Marco Richter. Can I scout you? Oh, it's going to take 18 days again. I should have done all these at the start of the, the transfer ones. Minor. Let's have a look. Linton Minor. Looks like it's fast at least. Okay. I think I'm going to sign Gary Medell. He'd be super cheap, low wages. And he can play centre back or centre defensive mid. Ah, I'm not too sure on that one. I'm honestly not too sure. Let's just quickly have a look at the transfer list. See if there's anyone cheap we can get. Because I am that tight. Uh, not the good Adama Traore, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, no one, no one great on there. Anyone good on loan? Midfielders. No, no. We must say Martinez is going to Real Madrid. Skriniar's buying and Longley is going to Liverpool. That sounds uh, like an expensive transfer window. What do I think about Liverpool at the moment? If you play... If you played against Medell, Vidal and Nangolin, how quickly would you want subbed off? Or oh, I'd probably have to be subbed off because I'd have, um, have a big gash in my leg or something. They're very intense players, aren't they? Oh yeah, centre-back. That's what I was going to do, wasn't it? I was We're calling Malik. Because I think he just played for them in real life now. He's a starter and he's uh, actually playing pretty well from what I've seen. See, I don't know if I can with if I can like say I play realistically and then also also recall McKenny as much as he'd be perfect or Rudy even. Mm. Tempting, Kotuku. He's uh, he's definitely improving while he's out on loan, so I might just keep him out on loan. But yeah, that's the thing. With Ramos in defence and Pepe, man, I don't think there's anyone. That'd be like I'm watching, if you've ever seen like the videos of uh, George Best, oh god, I've just seen who we're playing next. Um, like the videos we see of George Best where he just like sprints around getting kicked in the leg. That's what I imagine that would be like. What offers have we got? Oh, DC United, can everyone stop wanting loan to buy? Why would Ajax want a 30-year-old? 19 again. 
right, we definitely need a striker now because Patience has been recalled because we didn't play him in between... What? When did they even say that? I swear there wasn't even a match for me to play him and they've recalled him. It's a bit unfair, but whatever. Okay. So... As a winger... Any more suggestions? Kondreva is on loan, so I can't even sign him. Are you? I mean, he's pretty decent. Kim Mids, Ben Arthur. I mean, he can play right wing, I guess. Pastore at Sheffield just seems so weird. Sheffield United, that is. Before I get any comments on that again. Um, Kale Kakuta, Jesus, that's a blast from the past seeing his name. Is he really that good? Badelj. I'm quite interested in signing him, to be honest. I think he's a decent player. And the Davi for that price, again, that's pretty good. Buda Boos, not bad. Costa and Suarez up top. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a pretty horrible team <laughs> that you've just uh, you've just thought of. It's the sort of team you'd expect Millwall or Classic Wimbledon to have. Why am I just going around in circles? Right, Pedro can play right mid. Pedro can play right mid. I'll shortlist him. Kevin Augustan. Um. Selka wouldn't be too bad up front. Oh, he's on loan. Gudetti. My Teta. Interesting. Yeah, delegate. Um. Yeah, I mean, I do it, but they still reject most of the time, which is a bit annoying. Unfortunately, is it still too soon to buy Rakitic? Yeah. I was kind of holding out hope that it wouldn't be, but unfortunately it is. Mustafi's out on loan. We could approach the sign Mustafi, I guess. So we get him at the end of the season. Ah, uh, you can't, you can't do that. Apparently, brilliant. You've just recently joined. Brilliant. You've just recently joined. Amazing. I mean, you could play right mid, possibly. There's only one man for it, I think. Meza Ozil. NASA Chadley right mid. Get Morelos in. I'll see if we can get both. I want Morelos and Ozil. I've decided. Enough uh, enough messing around. We're just going to sign him. 19 million. Whew. That is expensive. Um, 19.1? Sup Proxis How's it going? Yeah, pre contracts like I said, probably we'll get um we'll get Thingy. The guy from Arsenal. Um and Morelos. Okay. I won't know anything about him, so I'll have to purely guess how much they want for him. Okay. Um Oh he's already gone to Hoffenheim, so probably can't sign him unfortunately. Uh, Eduard. Camavinga, that'd be nice. What's he called? I've totally forgotten how to spell his name. Um, Edu, he's got an O in there, isn't it? Odson, I'll just type Odson in, that's probably easier for me to. Odds, one S, Odson, there we go, finally. <laughs> And he's gone to Bruges, I think, so... Yeah, we can't get either of them, unfortunately. As cool as they would be to sign. He'd be about 16 mil. See, that would have been perfect. But, unfortunately... Not gonna happen. Um, let's think... This is probably the last... Last purchases we'll make. So we need someone for about 20 million up front. Who have we got? 
I mean, we could probably get Mbolo for that, maybe. Max Phillip, he's not too bad. Alario would be about 20. My Teta. Florian Niederlechner. Um, I mean, Baz Dost. That would be an interesting style change. Um, I want someone with a bit of pace. I mean, I'm not too fussed. Which is why Mbolo seems... I'm going to try and sign Mbolo. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Juan Jose Macias. Let's have a look at him, shall we? Macias. Jose Juan Macias. He's a Leverkusen. Just joined. So unfortunately, another one that we can't can't have a look at. And you've just joined there as well. So perfect. Wow. Okay. We're going to need to negotiate this one well. Timothy Way. Could do, I guess. We've got a couple of American players. We've got Dees history for it. Gladbach, see if we can get him for his value 24 million. Um, end negotiation. Ito, okay, let's have a look at Ito, shall we? I say it, Junior, which Ito is it? I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's, uh, let's have a quick look, yeah, Yunya, I think it's probably the one you mean, this guy, just joined as well, <laughs> like every other player seems to have moved in this first transfer window, yeah, yeah. Adolfo Geish, Nawel Bustos, it's like you're trying to did you retire a player? Yes, I did. Every good young striker in my presage has moved. Yep. Um, right. Let's have a look at Bustos. Now, well, Bustos. He's on loan, so unfortunately I can't sign him. Ito's played it in Germany before. Yeah. Um... My, so we sort of how much do we have we've got 36 million and I've already about 19 of it on Urzel so 17 million is our budget um, but I mean it doesn't need to be a young player we could just sign like Kalinic for a season. Although I'm not sure he's really better than what we've got. That's the problem. Max Phillip would be pretty interesting too. Alario, he's good, but he's he's a bit slow. Selka's okay, but um, I'm gonna give this guy a go. I think he he would be a decent strike, a uh, decent signing. Boadu, yeah, I'm I'm not too keen on signing him though, unfortunately, because uh, nah, let's begin negotiations. I think he's a bit a bit of a well used player, if you know what I mean. Like everyone's used him. I try and keep away from that. Although I think you probably see the same about this guy. So, see so if we can get him for twelve million. Seferovic from Benfica, John Cordoba, Thiago Thomas. They want Uth. Other player. Let's see if we've got anyone else they could have. Um, because <laughs> I don't really want to give them Uth. You can have Ibisevich. And 10 million, maybe. See if we get his wages off the book. Just straight up 11 million. Okay. Remove sell on fee. 13. That's a decent price, I think. He's a good choice. Yeah, I like my tool strike because he seems like he's got a bit of pace spam too. 
So I think having these two in there will uh, definitely give us a bit more creativity. Even if I do have to play Urza right mid or something. Oh my god, 85 grand a week. Okay, fair enough. You'll be an important player. Crucial, sure. Sure. Go for it. Two-year deal. Yeah, you're old anyway, so you'll probably, you know, in FIFA, be a 60-rated player by the time we, uh, by you retire. You want to get a pay cut of 30k, man. Let's remove that bonus, because that was huge. Four, four weeks wages for playing five matches. So, Ozil is Schalke. Maybe next season, you can sign a young English player like Bellingham and Sancho. I mean, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? If we got... Who, who, who could we get? Maybe the guy, Musi Musilea, who plays for Bayern Munich, maybe? He'd be pretty cool. Okay, you just want to be an important player. Fine. Fine. You're young, so I'll give you four years. Thought that would be what you're looking for. Don't bother with the release calls. You're going to retire Lewandowski. Interesting. Who you uh, who are you gonna try and manage as Lewandowski? Cool. So we've got Mateta up front. Urzil right mid. I think this has been a, a successful transfer window now, to be honest. Although I mean I'm not too keen on him being a right mid. Drax the can play right wing, so I'm gonna put them as uh, midfielders, I think, rather than wingers. You're a cam, you're a striker, right? Because we play a bit differently now, I'm just gonna have Urzil stay forwards and play wherever he wants. Free roam, don't bother even trying to tackle. And this guy's gonna be a target man as well. We'll have Drexler coming back. Oh, we could have them all on free roam when you think about it, but... Mm. Balance attack, mix attack, balance attack, yeah, cool. Do the oldest player in the game at 53... And, okay, Miura, isn't it? He did an Arsenal, um, he did Arsenal thing, uh, moved to the Prem. Yeah? I mean... Yeah, I mean, I think sometimes you get stuck in the J-League on FIFA. That's the problem. Like, you can't get offers from it anywhere else. Yeah, probably wouldn't go for Bellingham and Sancho because um, buying from a rival. I think the idea was buying people like them um, instead of buying them. So we'd probably buy just two different young English players. But that seems like something that Schalke might start doing if they did actually were in this position. The board expect you to avoid relegation or finish in the top 10. Um, because you retire a player, you don't actually get any objectives, which is a bit of a shame when you think about it. And I'm going to go in my blue kit, and I want them in their red kit, because I have PTSD from the two previous matches against Bayern Munich. But yeah, hopefully Urzel can power us through. That's uh, That's what we're going for. And here we are at Schalke's ground. Awfully quiet, it seems like, at the minute, to be honest. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, the crowd have finally discovered they have voices. Sancho's really expensive if you're lucky you have money. I can imagine he's got the same potential as Messi, I think, right? He's got like 94 potential. I'm not sure about that. You're going to be Sheffield United. Okay. Yeah, Billy Sharp and uh, Oli Burke, both, both good forwards. They've got like McBurney as well. And you'd imagine they've got quite a lot of money they can spend too. Oh, I need to change the squad numbers after this. But I think this is going to be my, uh, my last match. We'll just finish out the transfer window and then... Might do the same again next week if people are interested. Yeah, I don't like my Teta being number 10. That should definitely be Ozil. But. Alright, Karsdorp. 
Oh, man. He's exactly what I needed in the middle, Urzo. Ali. Deli Ali, man. I don't think he... I can't imagine Bayern Munich selling Thomas Muller and buying Deli Ali. Not gonna lie. Urzo to Drax, though, is the stuff of, of dreams for me. We're definitely playing better than we did against the last Schalke one. Nice to meet you. I'm Brazilian. You like the career mode? Yeah, thank you very much for liking my videos. Sorry for your English. Your English is better than my English, I think. You've got 19 million. Who should you sign for Sheffield United? Um, they like signing British players, so um, I'd recommend having a scout of maybe the Scottish League. Try and find the new John McGinn. Um, also have a, have a look at the Championship too. See if you could sign someone like... Uh, like a Joe Worrell, maybe. I know I'm a bit biased the, about Forrest. But, like, Derby have Bogle and Sibley. They're both good young English players. Sheffield United love signing players from uh, the Championship. So, yeah, most teams in the league will have someone that's good. Jesus Christ. Rudiger. That's an annoying... I think Rudiger's just as annoying as Dortmund signing Ramos. Brozovic and Goretzka again is solid. It's like a humans playing as uh, as Bayern Munich in this save. Goretzka. Oh, not Goretzka, Nabry, sorry. Sani, Klasniac, nice. Get it to Ozil. See if we can break. I'm kind of missing the Matondo pace, but it's Gerard Piquet against Draxler. He's done him. Draxler! Yeah, Joe Worrell, former Rangers player and current Nottingham Forest captain. Nottingham born too. Gerard Piquet just got absolutely burned there by Draxler. So maybe we didn't need Matondo for that that um, that match. That matchup, sorry. But Piquet and, Piquet and Rudiger at the back is, is actually pretty solid in real life at least. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure they join um, Bayern Munich, but it's pretty cool that my league now has Gerard Piquet and Sergio Ramos in, and I'm in the Bundesliga. It's very unusual. Bayern always sign Jamie Vardy in your saves. Luckily, they haven't done that for me because. Um, Because I hate playing against Jamie Vardy. Oh, Rudiger over the bar. So, we're doing a lot better than we were last time we played by Munich. It's probably about 4-0 at this point, I think. We just need to keep our concentration up. Ozil's passing is just so good. My Teta to Ozil... Oh my god, okay. Not gonna lie, I think Draxler would have scored there if he was playing through the middle. But it was still really good play from the new two the two new signings. Off the crossbar. Okay. The signings have done it for us, I think. We're not doing too bad now. Okay, that wasn't I was trying to flick that over my head. Not not do that. Okay. Urzel against PK? Oh, wow. Okay. Stirs the bowl on his home debut against Bayern Munich. <laughs> Meza Urzel. Maybe it was worth the 19 million just so I don't lose to Bayern Munich anymore. But if you can score that, why didn't he score the, the first one? What are my sliders? I'm using the Operation Sports sliders. Um, if you want to Google them. They go into depth why each slider is how it is. But yeah, it's just Operation Sports. If you uh, didn't hear me first time. I think OS sliders is what they call them. Oh, okay. Off the pitch.
it's always nicer in career mode when you start getting a team full of players that you've signed. That's when it starts getting fun for me. Like the first six months are usually a bit of a slog. But when you start realizing that's your team and you like all the players in it, way more fun. Is that offside? Okay, a few, it's offside. It's weird, it's not seeing Urzel at Arsenal in real life. Yeah. He's been there so long. I remember when he was like that biggest hype signing in the Premier League that season, wasn't he? And, uh, and Alexis as well. Okay. Half time. Playing well. One nil against the. Uh, I want to say our old rival, but it's it's more my rival. You know how badly they beat me each time, but definitely, uh, definitely going well. Cool. So. Try and uh, try and stop them being the Bayern that I'm used to playing against. Ex player Sane been robbed there by Karsdorp. Get to Urzel. Turn, pass it. Yep. Yeah. Jesus, Rudiger's just absolutely killed Mateta. Oh my god. He got fouled off the ball, got up, outran PK, and then he volleyed it in. Solid play. Sane can't quite get in the end of it. And Nabri versus Ozpika. That's not good. Or Stambouli. Oh no. Why would we keep two such slow players back? Thankfully he got a bit scared and turned around. So Then gave the ball to Hyrit. So yeah, I'm not going to complain about that one, I'm afraid. Oh, close one. Did I watch the Salford against Portsmouth final? No, I didn't, but it's a bit weird how they were... Um, weren't they only champions for, like, one day until the Sunderland match happened? It's just, it just seemed a bit weird that they even bothered. Got nine mil left. Who to sign? Sheffield United for nine mil. What do they need? They... Don't really have a replacement for their goalkeeper, do they? He's, he's not so good this year. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what, what position do you need? Serda. That one match we had to play with those 60 rated players, man. Really made me realise how much I, I miss Sir. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is awful. He's, I tried to do a bit of trickery with Hyra. He's just kicked the ball away. Okay, we've got Lewandowski in the middle, but hopefully Deli Ali doesn't have a good cross on him. Okay. He does. So, uh... So it's 2-1 uh, now, unfortunately. These remind me of Mark Goldbridge streams. Okay, that's that's nice of you to say. Thank you very much. Yeah, they have Wes Fodringham in gold, don't they? Never really liked him. He, I think he used to play in League One. He was fairly average in League One and the Championship. So I'm not sure how he's made it to the Premiership, but... One of those things, I guess, some people just fall upwards. Okay, hire it. Okay, the tricks don't seem to work so well against the ultimate as they uh, they do on foot, but hire it, okay. Ah, oh, I thought that was I thought that was a good idea to let that run. I should have just taken it. Damn it. Okay, off the pitch. Off the pitch. Yes. Okay. 
Ooh. I was close to the draw that was after we've been playing pretty well as well. I'm not too impressed by Mateta to be honest. You can tell he's big, but he doesn't seem like he's any better than Mark Uth was. Stambouli. Let's get that early ball in. Again, I'm not sure why Urzel's challenging uh I'm not sure why Urzel's challenging PK in the air when I've got Mateta who's probably about the same height, but just FIFA things I guess. Oh Bring it on Taliso for Deli Ali. I think that's a bit more of a defensive sub, isn't it? Trying to hold on for just the two one loss. Okay. Oh, Pavard. Not quite. Stambouli. Okay, Goreska just decided to stand still for a while. Drex, they're getting back. Okay. That's PK. You've got to outrun him, surely. Oh, he's just too good on the defense. Okay. Got a couple of minutes to hold on now. We just need to keep it safe. Oh, he's close to getting around Rudiger, but not quite. Please go off the pitch. Osikpa, yes. He didn't have the pace of Nabri. Unless we do something stupid here, I think we've got the uh, we've got the win. Let's get it down there. They can't score if the ball's with Neuer. Come on, ref. Yes. Get in. Not a bad last game, that one, for the stream. Win against Bayern Munich, the hardest match we actually win. We had a lot more shots than them, even if we had less of the ball. And passing was passing was on fire there. Let's have a look at our passes. Yeah, so we didn't really use Draxler in that one because we had to bump him out wide. But Urza was good on the ball. He made like all his dribbles, which... I guess the AI can say about pretty much every one of their players because that's how they play. Why did they have Kimmich up front though? I do not understand that move. Was Kimmich always up front? Why did they do that? But yeah, we did post-match interview. We'll just finish off the rest of January. And then um, I'll have to end the stream because like I said, it's, uh, it's getting pretty late here in England. There's more to come from Ozil for sure. It was great. And I agree. Mateta wasn't great, but more to come. Hyrett's getting back to his best. Yeah, he's... He did all right in that one, I guess. Danke für das Gespräch. Cool. So it's the last day of the transfer window now. And we have, like, no money at all. A load of wage budget, but... Not a lot of money. Before I forget, we'll just put Nastasic back in at left centre back. Yep, perfect. Totally forgot we recalled um we recalled Theo. So we could have probably played him instead of Ospika at centre back, but no worries. Yeah, I could buy Jonas Hector, I guess, but um pretty well stocked for midfield now. Especially when we get McKenny back if they don't decide to buy him. So we got three offers. Sampdoria offered to loan to buy. Let's just delegate this to a loan. See what they do. Hira and Hop offers off the table. That's fine. Cool. Another offers come in. Hopefully that's just the same one. Shalanoglu. Cool. What have I done? I've sorted it. Delegate. Get rid of that. Cool. See if we get any more offers. Please sign Alan Sousa. Please buy Alan Sousa. Please play Alan Sousa. Um, I mean, I'll consider it for the next transfer window, but I imagine we probably can't afford him. Because he sounds like he's a pretty decent player. 
to okay two years no transfer buy that's fine shop I kind of need him to be the right back cover although he's not great just search him up he's cheap Macclesfield legend <laughs> right I'll um I'll scout him and then maybe we can buy him in, in uh, December cool Shalanoglu is getting scouted Alright, let's let's have a look at Alan Souza then, shall we? A double N A double A N space Alan Sousa. Okay. He looks like he'd uh he'd be a skillful player from that picture. Agility sprint jumping. Okay. Yeah, not a bad player. Not a bad player. He could be. He could be what we need, actually. Right mid. Probably better a right mid than Draxler is. That's for sure. Okay. Let's keep it to. Let's keep it going. Sorry. Uh, three hours left. Two more offers. Who's be a striker? Uh. Not really that interested in selling him because I need someone to come in for the uh, the cover. One hundred and seven million. Wow. Okay, that's a that's not a bad deal. That one. One hundred and seven million. Damn. See what we've spent. So we got thirty nine for Quebec, and we spent thirty eight of it on Draxler and Urzil. We got sixteen for Mascarell. We spent thirteen on Mateta. Eleven seven. Got five for Bentaleb, Serbiski, Becker is left. So yeah, we're about um, we're about even on what we spent. Let's have a look at this. See if this actually does it for us. Ham six gone to Mosh and Gladbach instead of Gertberg. That's pretty cool. Leipzig have Nangalan and Fazio and Marlin. Yep, there's some good signings. Fabregas. Damn, why didn't I think of Fabregas? I love Fabregas. God damn it. Labyad. See if he can live out that potential at Wolfsburg. But Ramos, Oscar and Moutinho. I don't want to play against by me, um, Borussia Dortmund ever again. Because... Uh, no, uh, That sounds horrible, playing against those teams. <laughs> those players. If they actually do bother playing them. But, okay, we've got this as well. We'll do this quickly. See if we get another 1.4 million player like we did earlier. Uh, yeah, none of those are good enough, I'm afraid. Although, that guy did look pretty cool. Um, Anyone else in here that's going to be insane? I mean, that guy looks pretty cool. 6 foot 4. 400k. Keep scouting him. Players like this, we just need to get rid of them because they're just taking up space. Uh, nah, he doesn't look cool. Doesn't look cool enough to play for Schalke. Max Weiss. Julius Jäger. You've gone to AIK. Yeah, the rest of you can stay. And this, like, this guy looks interesting. Robert Vogt. Doesn't that mean bird in German, possibly? Hi, Ayad. How's it going? Bottom one, the bottom career mode's good. All right, I'll have to check it out. See if it's um, see if it's my kind of thing. You can search young players in Nord Sheerland. Okay, I'll um, I'll have to get the scouting going a bit better. Oh God, we've got to play against the stacked Dortmund team soon. But um, yeah, we'll do FC Union Berlin and Dortmund. We might do them next next week. Um. If, uh, if you guys like the streamers. Ooh, Iceland. Okay, so we've got Iceland and we've got Russia. Clearly, we have a thing for cold countries. <laughs> but, uh, not sure if... Does anyone know if the Euro 2021... Um, Euro 2021 is actually in 21 in FIFA? Or if they just skip that and just keep it with the two years? I'm not too sure... Um, 
yeah, I'm probably going to play it for for this one. But um, that'll either be next Sunday on another stream, which I'll probably do. Or I'll make a video on it in the week and we'll do the month after. But yeah. Put Oots back in there, save that, and then save the career mode. Quickly, which one is it? It's just called PS5 because I am that good at naming stuff. But um... Yeah, I hope you um I hope you all enjoyed the stream. I think it was about two hours in the end. Two hours fifteen. I know some of you were in it the whole time, which is uh was pretty cool to see, so it must have been at least a little bit interesting. But um yeah, thanks for everyone for uh for watching and how it should be attacking midfielder. Yeah, I guess. I like him on the left mid though, because I've got Urzel. But um anyway. I'm going to just end the stream quickly now, and um, yeah, hopefully you, I'll make this into a video, I might upload it tomorrow if you want to skip all my random rambling that I was doing through the stream, and uh, yeah, hopefully see you all again next Sunday, but um, yeah, cheers, bye.